All right, I'm just gonna look at you real quickly, which uh, is really cool. I'm gonna put down the volume just a tad so I can hear it, but you probably know this all by heart. This is, by the way, really neat. I like how you immediately put up the software that you know. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Not that I know every reel, but I think it's pretty neat. And I hope people uh, understand what that all means. You just never know. So I remember seeing your first shot. I've thought about it a lot, and we. Let's bring this down even lower, which is really cool. And there's one part that I really, really like. This is all neat. This is all really cool. Uh, just to go through like quick things. Um, I'd be careful with stuff like that, where you are very close to the actor's face. Here, you're actually overlapping the mouth, which is already kind of a no-no. But you're also very close to his eye. So I'd be careful about stuff like that. Um, that feels like his arm rotation. Sorry, I'm being an idiot here. There you go. As that arm comes down and then rotates, just how that wrist rotates down and stops feels just a bit mechanical. Right there. And it also kind of goes with his head. I don't know if that's intentional, but it's kind of a... It's just a bit too plain, I guess. I do love the other guy, and what I love is that. It's such a great moment. I'm a massive, massive fan of head accents and head moves and stuff like that. Turn the volume is great. My only comment about this would be, I don't know if you're moving him back on purpose because he thinks he's dying, so he's kind of afraid of him, or he feels like time's over and it's, I don't know, it's kind of a visual thing of dying and you're moving away from him. Uh, it's, it felt a bit odd. Um, I would actually do the opposite, but there's just something about this feeling a bit, it's just a bit odd that it takes a step back and then watch out for some twin poses and, and timing, like his arms going back at the same time and kind of resting and just um, kind of swinging. It's a bit animated. But it's cool though. That stuff is neat. Um, after all this though, and it's it's a tiny bit in here, mostly in uh, this guy, even though I love that part. I think my overall feeling for the reel is that it's swimmy. This guy's a bit better. But this feels just, like in terms of how much you have his arms drag here, and the wavy motion. And it's kind of slow, you can see how those arms just kind of keep moving a bit, and gives it kind of, almost kind of an IK feel to it. I don't know if those arms are IK, but they kind of look like it, especially at the end here. As that arm goes back. Shoop, right there. That too, I mean it is slow motion, but it, it, it adds to that kind of swimmy swimmy feel to it. Same with this guy. There's some cool stuff though, but I feel like there is there is a lot a lot of stuff moving all the time. Or like the way he comes down here, turns around, and just just that movement of this feels a bit even and I don't know, there's something even here as you do your first push, how that arm comes back, the right arm, boop, and then boo, comes in. So it's just an overall feeling of swimminess and floatiness. Like the way he puts the thing into his mouth here, it's just all very soft. Like kind of an IK, it's an IK arm, feels like again, like wrists not moving while while uh, the rest of the body's moving a lot. That's all cool here. Even that grab felt a bit slow, movements here, it's just, it's like an overall, overall thing though. These are cool. I wonder if kind of the hit on the head could be a bit stronger. And I wonder if that's kind of a head aligned thing where it feels like the head is very moving in a very horizontal line with not a lot of side to side tilt or rotation in the head. Looks a bit locked. Love the shoulders there. Scapular stuff is great. Uh, that's probably the biggest offender in terms of smooth, wavy, spliny stuff. It's mostly his arms. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on there. Which I get some leg pops. Same thing here, how that arm comes up here. Watch that guy. Now, whoop. Not, I mean, it was the other arm, but see how that arm comes up here. Whoop, and then down. It's very soft and swimmy. Same thing here, overlappy stuff. Love the set, though. Love this here. Same thing here. I mean, I guess it is part of the board's delivery of the line. Um... And even though that as a standalone piece is cool, and I love the tapping here, just an overall feeling of 
of slowness. And again, this is not the fault of the clip, and the clip by itself is, is cool, and you got the head turn here, which is neat too. I think it's just as a whole, when you then scrub through and you think about what have I seen, there's just this overall feeling of um, just swimminess, and I wish there would be a bit more snappy stuff, you know, really hold your poses, bigger accents to really drive home some points. Um, but you know, you got great acting, got great body mechanics here. It just becomes a bit swimmy, and I like your the weight. I mean, the weight is good. Let's just watch this guy. Just slow. It just takes a long time. Even like the the suitcase lift, it doesn't really feel like it's tied to to that big pull there. It gets better here, and I like the movements that are tied to the body there. So my thing would be, you know, watching, you have a lot, you got, you got animals, you got another weight assignments. I would probably take this guy out and do another one. This guy's knee too. Um, I would say, I would take this guy out, this guy out. Borderline keep this guy, even though it is a bit swimmy. Keep those guys, take this guy out keep that guy definitely keep that guy it would be neat to, to add a little bit of a fix in there um, so in terms of what you will concentrate on to me it's almost like keep doing what you're doing but just practice you know it's not like I think the variety of your reel is great because you do have acting body mechanics weight and creature you know and even in your weight there's a lot of pantomime in there so you're covering all that all the uh, you know, the checklist of things you should have on your reel. Which is great. I think it would be cool to get um, maybe like dialogue-wise kind of more emotional, where you can push emotions, but more subtle acting. Definitely keep this guy, though. Um, and since... I'm hesitant in saying do another weight piece, but there could be something that, that you could find where you combine things, where it could be pantomime with a slight little bit of audio dialogue, maybe some guy running, yelling, so that you can somehow incorporate weight. And since you've done this, I mean, I would love to see something, that's always one of my things in reels, is that uh, you rarely see creatures, so it's great to see this, but you also rarely see creatures applied to human acting. So, you know, think all of Ratatouille, for instance. So that could be neat, you know, where you can combine things where you might have, you know, what if you combine everything where you have a creature walking, doing its behavioral stuff that we know of animals that you can reference, and then it goes into a more uh, humanistic acting piece that might be a subtle, sad acting thing, you know? Something like that. Uh, I'm gonna cut this and maybe write the rest so it's not a super, super long clip. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. Alright, thank you.